And we have a state that is sponsoring hooliganism against their perceived competitors, economic and political. We believe the violence and hooliganism directed against Rigadi Gashagwa is state-sponsored political hooliganism. We believe the arrest of Ben Data is again state-sponsored hooliganism, economic hooliganism, where people are being used, the police are being used to interfere in business transactions, to arrest an investor and paint him as if he is a criminal so that he falls out of the bid and advantage is given to a foreigner from Tanzania. So Leo Tukiwa Hapa and uh, with the leaders here in uh, Western, particularly where Ben Data comes from, we want to condemn what is going on, the targeting of Ben Data, so that they disadvantage him and they grab this deal for themselves. Tuajua wale wamehusika kutoka serikali hii, wamekuwa na mikutano na huyu mtanzania, ili kumusaidia aweze kushinda. Uh, uh, Mwishmi wa Ruto is not a democrat. In fact, ameanza kurudisha ile siyasa ya udiktator. Yani usipokuwa kwenye system, wewe ni adui wa the system. So you must be intimidated, and part of this is uh, through uh, ushuru, kare, watu wanatumiwa kare to, to intimidate them. Part of it ni kutumia policy, especially DCI, na buwana Ben Data mechukuliwa na rafiki zetu wa Subaru. Na sikuizu ukiona Subaru, ujue maisha yako yako hatarini. So what we have in Kenya is actually criminalization, actually weaponization of the criminal justice system. Polisi wanatumiwa kisiasa kama fimbo ya kupiga wapinzani wa serikali hii. Wapinzani wa kiuchumi. Na haya sisi ya tutakubali. So haiwezekani sisi wanazimiwa ambao tulikuwa tunatetea mwananchi yule wa chini. Sisi ndiyo sasa tunaacha mwananchi akifinywa na zakayo na tunapanda juu ya mti kumtetea zakayo. So nakubaliana na Bi Martha Karua na uamuzi ambao wametoa jana kama wanana Kenya e, kujiondoa kwenye azimio kama DAP Kenya tuko na huo mwelekeo pia na nishaidhinishwa kama kiongozi wa chama kuanza e, mikakati ya kuondoa DAP kwenye azimio sababu yale tulikuwa tunaazimia kama muungano wa kisiasa sasa hayapo tena badala ya kutetea wananchi kuokoa wananchi kutoka kwa zakayo wenzetu ambao tulikuwa nao azimio ndio wameingia serikalini kumuokoa zakayo leo pia wameunga mkono uamuzi wa baraza kuu la chama chetu yani NEC kuniidhinisha kwa mgombea wa kiti cha urais katika kinyanganyiro cha urais tare kumi, mwezi wa 8 2027 hii ni heshima kubwa nimetunukiwa na hawa viongozi wa mashinani na viongozi wa chama chetu na leo na